Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today I want to show you how to install the rollback cover on this Ram 1500. Now this is a standard installation that installs the same way on most trucks. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've installed our bulkhead seal. It runs right along the inside of the bulkhead. Uh, you're, uh, the top, top side of the bulkhead furthest away from the cab. You go from one bed cap all the way over to the other bed cap, cut it in place and stick it. Uh, you also want to wipe down that bulkhead with rubbing alcohol before you apply the seal. Next, we're going to take our angle bracket. You're going to have two of these in the kit. They're going to have some holes uh, in the vertical portion of it. And that's going to go right up against uh, your bed cap um, and it's going to slide up to the bulkhead. Now you want to keep this level right here uh, of the angle iron flat with the top of the bed cap or just slightly below the top of the bed cap. Um, now we're going to hold that in place. I'm going to use a squeeze clamp and Next, we're going to use a couple of provided self-tapping screws uh, with a drill. And we're going to go right through the provided holes into the bed cap to secure this angle bracket in place. We're going to do that on the driver's side as well. We're going to take our canister and we're going to position it right on top of the hanger brackets. All right, now before we fix this canister to the canister bracket, we're going to push the canister all the way up to the bulkhead and pull the bracket all the way onto uh, the canister bracket. And then use provided self-tapping screw and go through the, the hole in the center of the bracket. Repeat the same thing on the passenger side. All right, so now what we're doing is we're grabbing the passenger side rail. Uh, we're going to notice you've got a a little bump stop that's over here is towards the tailgate. Uh, up towards the bulkhead, uh, you'll have this piece of plastic that hangs out. The silver inner rail is going to face towards the inside of the bed. What we're going to do is we're going to set that on top of the bed caps. Um, now there's a few different configurations you want to know about. This right here has a bed rug. This is probably the easiest and the best way to install this with the bed rug. You just want to slide it to the bed rug and gently press it against it. You don't want to try to crush the bed rug or anything like that. Just with the tailgate closed, push it up against the bed rug. If you had a drop-in bed liner, uh, you would actually want to unscrew the drop-in bed liner and uh, put it about one eighth of an inch away from the painted surface of the tailgate. Um, same thing if you had like a spray-in bed liner, just keep it about an eighth of an inch away. At this point, what I'm going to do with this rail in place is I'm going to take a couple of squeeze clamps, pinch them in place to the rail. All right, so what we're going to do now is clamp uh, the rail to the bed of the truck. And we're just going to slide that clamp all the way up as far as it can go where it's still grabbing a hold of the grooves of the inner rail. So you just want to make sure the grooves in uh, the clamp made up properly to the grooves in the rail. Uh, squeeze that together, hold it by hand, and then by hand tighten down the bolt. Once you get it kind of close, you want to take an open-ended 9 16 wrench. You can get that clamp to where it's just starting to bite down and put up some pressure on the, on the rail system. At this point in time, what we want to do is we want to set the seal on the rail to the bed cap. The way we do that is kind of pop down from the top. Now, still holding the clamp, we're going to go ahead and finish tightening that clamp. Going to the center clamp, we want to install that the exact same way. Just slide it up into place. Make sure it mates into the grooves on the rail with the grooves in the clamp. Tighten it down first by hand. Snug it down with your 9 16 It's just starting to grab. Pop it from the top and then finish tightening it down. All right, now installing the last clamp, we're going to do that the same way. Now, be careful whenever you're installing this, especially on the longer bed trucks. This is a short bed truck. Some of the longer bed trucks, the, the center of the bed is actually a little bit crowned, a little bit higher uh, than the front and the rear. Uh, so if, if the, the end of the rail wants to, to lift up, you want to bear down on that rail while you're holding that clamp together. Uh, and uh, so just keep that in mind. We're going to tighten this up, hand tight. We'll make sure it's fairly far back on the rail, as close to the tailgate as possible, and then go ahead and snug that up. Now the clamp's providing some pressure. I'm going to 
seat that seal and finish tightening the clamp. Repeat the same process on the opposite side. Now we've got this uh, piece of plastic coming out off of the rail that needs to be attached to the inside of the canister. It just helps the, the cover guide back and forth into the canister. We're going to peel away uh, the adhesive protector. Now I've already wiped off this surface with uh, isopropyl alcohol. We're going to do that on both sides. All right, next what we're going to do is rotate the blanket into the rails. Uh, when we do that, we're going to need to pull on this latch to make sure the uh, latches come in. Uh, so that it clears and will uh, go past these stops. Uh, so we're going to make sure that our felt guides are on top of the blanket of the cover. Line it up, slide it into the rail. It is now contacting, so I'm going to pull uh, the latch release to go past. Now I can go ahead and just start adjusting the rails. Now the rails should be preset from the factory. There's a couple things you want to watch out for. Um, number one, you want to be able to have a little bit of wiggle room back and forth. You don't want it to be too tight because it will drag as you're, you're pulling it towards the tailgate. Um, so you want to have an eighth inch on either side whenever you adjust these rails. To adjust the rails, what you're going to do is with a half inch uh, wrench, you're going to loosen up uh, the nuts that, that hold these screws in place. Uh, that way the rails can slide back and forth. Now it may be set perfect from the factory, uh, but sometimes your bed might be a little bit out of whack, um, you know, out of tolerance, and it might need to be adjusted. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. These are 7 16 nuts. I loosen them up off of the bolts just a little bit. And now I can adjust this rail in and out. Now we just want to have an eighth inch on each side uh, in between the rail uh, and the, the cover itself. That way the cover can slide back and forth just a little bit. Uh, now as we adjust that we want to have the exact same amount uh, on this side uh, of, of that inner rail protruding from the outer rail as we do on the opposite side. That makes sure that the cover is centered in between the rails. Now that I have it centered and adjusted at the front, I've tightened down the bolts at the front. The bolts in the middle are still loose and the bolt at the back is tight. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the cover all the way back to the tailgate and then adjust it at the rear using the 7 16 Just make sure when you adjust that inner rail and it sticks out from the outer rail the exact same amount on each side and maintain that eighth inch gap. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pull the cable, release the latches, let it slide forward very gently, and let it rest against the canister. I'm going to tighten up uh, these nuts on the center bolts. Uh, make sure you get them snug. You don't want to over tighten them. Now we're going to go ahead and install the stop rail. What this does is it keeps the cover from rolling all the way back into the canister. Uh, because now all of these bolts are tightened down, it's safe to go ahead and loosen up the front bolts so that the, the nut and the washer drop down in good ways. Do that on both sides. Now when this is installed, it's going to be installed in this orientation uh, where these rubber bumpers are going to be towards the, uh, the top and closest to the canister. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide that into that bolt. We're going to line it up to the other side. Slide it in get it centered, and then you can go ahead and tighten down those 7 16 bolts again. Now going back to that front bolt again, on both sides we're also going to use a nylock nut, and we're going to tighten it, tighten it down with a 7 16 and do that to both sides as well. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and install the tail seal. Uh, this is going to uh, install uh, along this little slot right down here, uh, and it basically just goes in all the way, snaps in, and you work from one side to the other. Now it's going to be a little bit long, so when you get to the opposite side, you're going to have to cut it to length. Now we're going to take our canister cover bracket. We're going to line it up to these two holes in the actual canister bracket, like so. And we're also going to make sure that this edge right here lines up to the edge of the outer rail. Uh, once we've got it set in place, we're going to take and loosely install to the included screws right into these holes. We're not going to tighten them down all the way at this time, and we're going to do this on both sides. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install the canister cover in between the two canister brackets. We're line the canister cover up to the top uh, of the bed cap. And once it's square and even, we're gonna draw the canister brackets into the canister cover, make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're gonna gently rotate the canister cover away from the canister cover brackets, lift it out of the way and we can tighten those brackets down. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the canister cover back in place. Make sure it's lined up properly. Now we're gonna use two more of the self-tapping screws included. We're gonna go through the canister bracket and the holes provided. Hold the canister cover down. And put them in. Repeat the same thing on the passenger side. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the drain tubes. Now this has got a bed rug. I've already made a hole in the bed rug down here. Uh, directly behind this hole is an oval kickout that comes in the bed. That kickout has already been popped out and I've got an access point. So my drain tube, I'm gonna fish uh, through that hole and hook it up to the drain spout on the bottom of the canister. And you got two drain spouts, two drain tubes, do one on each side. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you some steps on making sure the, the cover is as weather tight as possible. This little hole at the very end of the rail uh, if your bed is facing forward uh, or, or, or tilting forward and is not level um, and it's lower in the front, any kind of runoff water that collects in the rail will travel to the canister and go out the drain tubes and that's all good to go. If you're level, sometimes that water can come back and start pooling into this area here and then start running uh, down the inside of the track. So what we're going to do, let me show you how to seal that off to keep that from happening. We're going to take and squeeze some RTV into this little area here. Once you've applied the RTV, you can't adjust these rails anymore. Now along the rail, all the places where the bolts are, are protruding through the bottom of the rail, I'm gonna put a little bit of RTV on each one of the bolts here. All right, now next to each one of the bolts, there's also going to be a slotted hole. Uh, now we can either fill that in with the RTV or uh, something I like to do is I like to wipe that down with some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I'll take some 3M uh, adhesive tape and take and just wrap that adhesive right around and bear down nice and tight and that will also make an excellent seal. Now on both of the rails I'm going to apply some heavy duty silicone spray or any type of lubricant right on top of the Teflon glides. Do it on both sides. Well that concludes the installation. If you have any questions call the experts. We're here to help you out.